Yeah, sorry about that. This was this is part two of the installation of Sandboxy. I I had to disable my firewall so Sandboxy can update itself. That's why you were or that's what we were experiencing. Well, me really. Um, the you know Sandboxy like freezing a little. I had to disable my firewall, which was Komodo. And yeah, okay. Now here's Sandboxy. Firefox is now running inside of Sandboxy. You see the little brackets up here? I don't know if you can see it because it's like the words are blending in sort of with my um, theme up here. But there's brackets. You see the brackets up there? Let me move that. Well, you can see it up here. You see the brackets? That means Firefox is running in sand, Sandboxy. And now you're like really safe to just roam the web without worrying about viruses automatically uploading to your computer. You know and but first you're going to want to before you start your um using sandbox you're going to want to do this you're going to want to go into hold on not quick recovery sandboxy settings come down here to recovery i believe this is it no that's not it hold on okay here we go you're going to come down to delete and come down come right here and you're gonna click you're gonna check this automatically delete the content inside of sandboxy you know when it's done you know when you're done using it never remove the sandbox or delete no you're gonna want it to delete it automatically and apply and apply okay and the next time you exit out of your program exit out of um sandboxy the contents of anything like if a virus ever did automatically upload to, into the sandboxy I just made it bigger right there my bad if you didn't know I was gonna do that but if sandboxy automatically uploads something you can just terminate it and it will automatically delete the delete the um, contents inside of sandbox sand, sandbox yes I'm trying to say and the way to terminate your programs is like you don't just X out of the out of here like um, like you will normally do like you just don't do that you have to come to your sandbox see over here you can do it over here you are just gonna right click and come down to terminate all programs and yes you don't want that to do it again and it just terminated all the programs inside of sandboxy and it's gonna show that message again for if you just first installed it but I already had it on here and it remembered that I had it on here. I mean I just reinstalled it over a um, previous version of Sandboxy. And that's why you had that menu on the first um, video that said 30 days are up and whatever. But it's still usable. You just got to wait 5 seconds and read the dialogue, dialogue that they um, give you. I'm just restarting um, Firefox again and we're going to do it again with the terminate the programs but you know we're going to go into sandboxy but first let me tell you what these are these are the programs that's helping firefox run inside of sandboxy so if you see these don't don't has you know don't um get scared these are programs for sandboxy running inside of sandboxy you know and you might see some other ones in here that say a sandboxy crypto or something like that it's it's a good program if they have the word sandboxy in it then you're good to, you're good to go surfing on the internet okay now we're going to learn how to retrieve what we downloaded with the sandboxy I am right here I'm using um opera to do it and I'm going to show you how to how to retrieve what you downloaded um, out of the sandboxy um, let's go to back to downloads and let's go and download um, AVG free okay here's AVG free and I'm going to click it I want to download it okay I want to download it I don't want to run it you want to save it you know onto your computer let's try to save it to our computer I want it on my desktop the um X the um, exe 
Okay, this window popped up. This is the window that indicates where, like you know, where you want to, where you want this file to be downloaded to on your computer. You don't necessarily have to save it to the same file, I mean folder, which was the desktop right here. You could save it to any other folder by um, highlighting this and going to recover, and it will pop up another another menu, and you can pick it out, you know, pick out where you want to save it and whatnot. And yeah. And so you can resave it. I mean, you can save it to the desktop. Let's go to the desktop and see if it's there. You see, there's nothing there yet. Now, if we click recover, there, it just recovered it to the desktop. Now, what this is is that <coughs> is that it it did not go straight to your desktop. You didn't. It did not upload to your computer. I mean, not upload. Download. That's what I meant to say. Download straight to your computer like um anything that you know you go on the internet and download it won't just download straight to the pc let's get rid of this exe and let's try let me show you again um when you don't um download it i mean when you don't recover it let me show you i click download let's click save i want it on my desktop save okay I'm not gonna do anything I'm gonna push close now let's go to the desktop you see it's not there the sandbox he has contained it from going to the desktop of my um <clears throat> did I say desktop twice I don't know if I did I, don't, I wasn't paying attention I meant to say sandbox he contained it from going to the desktop you see it's not here now the way to get it back is that you're gonna come to the sandbox -y, right click come down to default sandbox -y, I believe this is it and come over yeah this is it and come over here to quick recovery and here it is here's what you downloaded ready to be recovered you're gonna recover it from to the same folder or you can just delete this whole the stuff in here you can close it but the way you delete it if you don't want this or you know if you see something in here that you didn't want to download or you didn't download yourself you're gonna want to come over here to sandboxy and you're going to come to um, default sandboxy right here and you're going to come to delete contents of sandboxy you know just to get rid of the stuff that you didn't download or you don't want you're just going to get rid of it anything in there is going to go away bye bye let's click delete and you get this menu it says deleting sandboxy this is just to indicate if you really want to get rid of this stuff right here you know just in case if you're not doing this you know by accident or anything I don't know I mean I mean I know I'm just saying I don't know because I'm being silly right now I'm trying to rush right now because you know YouTube won't let you have such long videos on their you know yeah so you just delete it and now you see that it's deleting right here let me remove the mouse cursor and there you go it just deleted everything inside the sandbox -y. so if anything tried to auto upload like a virus or anything it just got terminated it was never on your um, inside your file so it can't do anything it, it probably was inside your memory but that's it it wasn't it can't tell your computer to do anything it never created a registry to do anything you know so yeah you're, you're good as you're, you're really good with this program again it's you get up to 30 days but that window will pop up so don't worry about that window when you see it I mean it's gonna just say it's gonna say this is advertisement just wait five seconds and whatnot and just click okay continue and there you go or you can just reinstall it or whatever but I didn't reinstall it I just uh, pretty much did an update by you know reinstalling over a previous version of sandboxy I still had on my computer so yeah this has been your guy Devin the geek check out my channel I have plenty of more tutorials from all the way from Photoshop down to ZBrush to anything. I mean, not well, not pretty much anything, but I do have a lot of um, tutorials to come. I mean, I know I'm new to YouTube, and I hope I'm doing good so far. And thanks, thank you for the people who have supported me on YouTube. So yeah, 
I love you guys. Peace out. This is your, this has been your guy Devin the Geek, and I hope this has been helpful. I'm up.